Okay, well, here I am again with another boot Lego set. Now, I don't know if you can see in that package, but what I see is uh, stuff about Sesame Street. This is the boot Lego Sesame Street set that Lego does put out. But again, it's, uh, it's boot Lego. So, I'm sure in its own fashion it'll be funny. <laughs> Okay, well, got all these bags. Three, two, oh, it's three, it's three bags. <laughs> One, two, and three. But they're mini bags inside, so there's a lot of bags. Now this, holy frijoles, Sesame Street, look how big this is. I'm going to need help from the wife, definitely. So we will get started with this one right away. Okay, well, as you can see, I have six figures here, but there's something different. In the regular set, you get Oscar the Grouch, along with these. Now this Kermit came with those blind bags from Lego with, when they did the Muppet Show figures. But when I was a kid, Kermit the Frog used to always be on Sesame Street. So I decided to put him where I feel he belongs. So, you got Kermit, you got Elmo, you got Cookie Monster, you got Big Bird, you got Bert, and you got Ernie. And somewhere in all these bags over here is Oscar the Grouch, and we will find him, and we will set him up. My wife is putting together the uh, Sesame Street Neighborhood. You want to turn that so the camera can get a good look at the front of the building? That's it so far. Okay, slide it. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. you got a bunch of stuff in the way there. Hey, that's looking pretty good. All right, go ahead. Do what you got to do. You know what's funny is for this piece here, it called for a single piece. Yeah. So in other words, this shouldn't have been so wide. Right. So, so what'd you have to do? Double it? No, what I'm doing is doing pushing it back so it works. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's so the you, quality you that you get from like China. That? Right? That's what I was supposed to get, but I didn't. But you got this big wide one exactly. instead. Yep. Wow, that's the Chinese quality that we're here in America used to. You just like <laughs> the pages out of order. Oh yeah, the book. The pages were out of order, and some of the pages were missing out of the uh, the, the the building book there. Yep, out of the instructions, <laughs> they were missing. That is great. I love it. Glad you do. Sorry, dear. Better you than me. Whoop. Sure. BB, go away before I punt you into the street like a foot big fat football. Get. No, I don't want a dog near me. You go. You're just trying to get food, so get lost. You know, every time we do this, people that watch this video get to hear me scold you the whole time, BB. That's all it is. It's not a video about making Lego. It's a video BB about, about me yelling BB at my scolding. dog. Yeah. BB scolding. That's all you're good for, Dad. I wonder if there's a little door where you can go find Big Bird's nest in the alley. I think so. there, there's probably going to be. If there's a nest. Oops. Did you know that Sesame Street started as a show for like uh, poor kids in the in the ghetto? That's why it was designed the way it was, so people in the ghetto could relate to the characters. That's why I like the buildings look a little bit run down. You get you know garbage cans piled up, and you got an alley with a bird selling meth in the back. <laughs> no, he didn't. Really, honey? Hey, do you remember the drug dealer guy? Would you like to buy an O? Round and sweet. He'd open his trench coat and he had a bunch of O's. It's a oh. drug dealer. Oh, it's okay. just a metaphor for a drug dealer. Okay. And he's like, it only costs a nickel. And Ernie would exclaim, a nickel? And go, shh, right. You know, yep. the drug deal's going down. Yeah. 
Don't say it too loud. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. I grew up watching Sesame Street like probably most people who are watching this video have. And uh, it's a it's kind of sad to see where Sesame Street has gone and what it's become these days. But, you know, I still have my fond memories when I was a child. You know, I remember at night, you know, right around supper time, either after supper or before I'd watch Sesame Street when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Sesame Street is 54 years old. It started the year we were born. Yes, it did. Uh, Yeah, so this book, the instruction book, pages misnumbered, pages out of order, pages that weren't even put in a book that are not cut or scored or anything that look like a poster. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you come across Oscar the Grouch yet? Nope. It's all right. Yeah, I put that Kermit with the other figures because that's where he started as on Sesame Street. Yep, he did. You look at the old ones, the really old ones, he's there. Muppet Show is okay, but I was never as big into the Muppet Show as a kid as I was Sesame Street. So I just, uh, you know, I put, a, I moved him back to the ghetto. <laughs> oh, you want me to get the other Kermit for you? Nope. Okay, well, he's there. Now, for the Muppets, I don't think there's any other Muppets that, what do you, what? That made the transition to, any other Sesame Street characters that made the transition to the Muppet Show. Did you lose something? I'm not trying to piece. Oh. Well, look, I will stop videotaping here, and when we come back, we will see the finished result. And here is the finished product. Hi. Yeah, I put, I made a street band, so we got Kermit. And I know these guys weren't part of the original Muppets, but they are Muppets. They're all Jim Henson. So Kermit was? I know. I said these three. Oh. I did put some other ones in here just because it's like in here I got the Swedish Chef and Bunsen Burner. Bunsen. B Bunsen Honeydew. <laughs> Bunsen Honeydew. <laughs> Bunsen Burner. And then I put Fozzie up here in the Count's apartment. Um, just to kind of fill it up and put other Muppets in here. So I did that, and then back here I put Beaker inside. I don't know if you can see through the door or not. And the sign does say Sesame Street on, on the sign right there. Yep. It actually does. So that must be China's way of showing the ad wrong to get around the copyright can infringement. Can you see, honey? Can you see? Can I see? Oh, yeah, it's kind of bright coming through, though. How's that? Well, it's hard to tell with the viewfinder, but I'm sure it's better than nothing. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on the side so you can see. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to turn around slowly. So this is Big Bird's little nest. He's got his little shelf here with his toy. And in, in his nest, he's actually got his teddy bear and a blue skate. I don't know why he's got one skate. but Maybe it was an episode where he skated. And then this is the back side. You got Bert and Ernie's apartment, and I put Ernie up in the tub with his rubber ducky. I put Bert, I mean, er, Bert. Bert. <laughs> I'm so That's old, right. I can't remember who they are anymore. That's right. I put Bert up here with his birds. So. Hold on, and, let me change the camera angle a little bit. And here. then you see uh, beakers in here with the toys and stuff. this here a little bit. Ooh. I put Gonzo jumping off the roof over here too. <laughs> if you had a Grover, you could have him like Super Grover. Right? Remember how he would yes. do that? I like the dinosaur on the wall. On, yeah, that, on the that's Ernie's there. dinosaur and I think that's Bert's um, bowling ball. Uh huh. And then I put Miss Piggy up here on the balcony because she's better than everybody. Wow. She gonna she gonna jump off the balcony? No. And then I got Cookie Monster having cookies and donuts and everything else, see? 
Well, I can't put those ones on there. Well, we got extra cookies and donuts from other sets that we okay. haven't used, so. Yep, so that's the set. It's super cute. Even for a knockoff, it was kind of a pain in the butt to put together, but. Well, for the most part, the only reason you could tell it's a knockoff is because the studs, they don't say Lego, right. right? The studs don't say Lego. Right. That's how, that's an indication of how you can tell if it's a cheap knockoff is because the studs don't say the word Lego on each individual stud. I thought the thing where it says Sesame Street here, let me, I want to zoom in on the sign. Let's see here, oh I can't see nothing. Let's see, hold on, I'm trying. Oops, I'm trying. See how the sign says Sesame Street. But the ads, it just says some nonsense word that doesn't mean... See, even Hooper says Mr. Hooper's there. It says Hooper's on there? Yeah. It, so, like I said, it's super cute. Yeah, I like it. There's a lot of detail. They, they, they repurposed a lot of different parts for different things, which was neat. Yeah, like the mailbox. <laughs> well, it's like up here in, in, in the, for the TV, they took one of the, um, these leaf stems these type of stems in black to use as an antenna. We could put one of the video game systems up and- Oh, that would be cool. Have them play Nintendo or- Right? You know. We ordered some little knockoff, well, they're not knockoff, they've never been made, but we ordered some little brick uh, video game consoles, you know, like a Nintendo and a Nintendo 64, something like that, uh, P uh, Super NES, all these things with controllers and Game Boys, for characters this size, that'd be kind of cool. Give them a couple. See, Oscar's over here complaining about the noise. Well, I don't blame him. He's got trash in there. He's got a tire and a pizza box and a trash bag. Yeah, see, I told you, it's like the ghetto because you got garbage right outside the windows and that this was originally a ghetto. Yeah. That's what it was. They got a blue recycle bin back here. Wow. In here, like, because that's, goes into like the basement area yeah and there's a blue recycle bin back there and then they got the mailbox here and for the mailbox they use the, <laughs> the the needles the syringes the syringes see yeah see throw a couple of syringes in the street like it's a real ghetto so we need to put some cops there put a police car in front <laughs> so that's the sesame street set i i like i said i enjoyed building it i had a couple frustrations but and there were a couple of little pieces you said were missing yeah too. and i broke i broke some of these leave things but luckily we had we have more than enough we have plenty of replacement parts and that's what's good if you buy like you know, collections, you know, you buy like extra Legos that somebody's selling at a yard sale because you can always repurpose them and use them if you're short a piece. So it's a good thing and you can add on and make a mock or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm pleased with it. Yeah. We'll have to find a place that we get like a cabinet or something. We we really need to put it in something because that, that, that's, it's really nice. I like it. Yeah, it's a big set though. But I mean. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good size set. It, it took me what, two hours, three hours to put together? Yeah. Well, I did the hard part. I, I did you did all the figures. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, so that's it. This video was brought to you today by the letters D and H. And the number 33.